What's good, YouTube? It's me, my opinion on topics. Hi, I'm Smooth J. It's Football Friday. If you want more content like this and others, check out that description below and hit that like and subscribe if you new. Wherever you at, wherever you watching, wherever you listening, Canada, the UK, the US, England, Northampton, Leicester, Serbia, Morocco. I thank each and every one of y'all. Wouldn't be here without y'all. On the road to 200 subs, so let's get it. It's Football Friday. We didn't do one last week, so we had to do the results from week eight. And hey, not bad, but worse. It was about the same as week one. A lot of teams we thought was going to win did not win. Especially Rams Nation. Mob Squad did not show up in Miami. Got our asses handed to us. And now we're on a bye week, so we don't get no revenge on any team until next week. That is rough. Bad taste in our mouth, like Sean McVay said. That's what it is. Should not have went down to the Dolphins in Miami and got whooped. Jared Goff looked like he was lost. Looked like he was lost. I'm off the Jared Goff bandwagon, Rams fans. I'm sorry. Let's look to trade him. Let's let let's look to get some more picks back. Man, the defense is solid. But I'm telling y'all, I want a more mobile quarterback. Someone to just take off with it, hit him deep. Man, you know, hands over here, man. Hands. We need someone that is able to win us games. Like Russ Wilson, Kyler Murray, you know what I'm saying? San Francisco's even move, gonna move on from Jimmy G. So it is what it is. I'm telling y'all, Rams Nation, we need to try to get one of these quarterbacks, man. Trey Lance, Justin Fields, we ain't gonna get ne none of them. Even a quarterback from BYU. I'm telling y'all, we need a more mobile, more of a playmaking quarterback. That's just my take with it. Jared Goff, he makes great throws, but he needs everything to be picture perfect. If the play calling ain't great, Jared Goff ain't playing great. And that was last week was a perfect, perfect situation. Play calling wasn't great. Jared Goff struggled. So, hey, but Thursday night, we picked Carolina and Atlanta came out and showed why. They should have let Dan Quinn go a long, long time ago. Then you got Pittsburgh staying undefeated. We thought Lamar Jackson was going to come in and just run. But he had four turnovers, just like Jared Goff. Can't happen. Can't happen. Then also, we already talked about it. The Rams play like shit. They play terrible. Like, are you kidding me? Could we have played worse? Jared Goff gets sacked, fumbled, running back for a touchdown. Next time, punt, return for a touchdown. Next time, Jared Goff step back, fumble, they go take it down to the one-yard line. He throws it, interception. He throws it again, interception. Four turnovers. You ain't winning games like that. I'm telling y'all. And then Green Bay. They were up on Minnesota, and then Dalvin Cook got four touchdowns and ran all over him. He took the ball and just ghosted him. So they lost. We also lost to Cleveland against the Raiders game. Baker Mayfield, underwhelming. Underwhelming. The Raiders are a lot better than I thought. But damn, Cleveland at home scored six points. Awful. Then Tennessee on a two-game losing streak. Losing to Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow is flinging the rock out here, man. He just bombs away. He looking like a very, very good number one pick. That college season he had last year wasn't a joke. Wasn't a fluke. He's shown why. He should have been a number one pick this year. And then 
We went on a hot streak, and we won all the rest of the games. Buffalo over New England. Denver, that comeback that y'all had was amazing against the Chargers. It was amazing. It just truly was at home, the last play of the game, time running out, Drew Locke hitting K.J. Hamler in the back of the end zone for the TD. Brandon McManus hitting that field goal. So, 8-6 and six is where we ended up. Let's see, hopefully, this week we can get a little bit better. I mean, can't get worse. I wanted to punch a hole through the TV, through the laptop, through everything. Because the Rams were shit. They were terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. So on a year, that makes us 71, 34, and 1. I'll take it. Damn near 40 games above 500. We'll take it. So let's go ahead and look at what we got for week nine in the building. Oh, man. Week nine. Well, well, well. You know, we had Green Bay over the Niners last night, and a Rodge show why he's still one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Man. You don't want none of this. Aaron Rodgers in the Green Bay Packers. Devontae Adams just snagging the ball out the, out the air. Got a touchdown, 10 catches, over like a buck 70 receiving. San Francisco's decimated at $70 million on either the injury reserve or the COVID list. You ain't going to win much games when your whole squad is out. And that was the tough thing, you know what I'm saying? That was tough for them. It was tough. They tried to keep it close early, but then that bad man, Aaron Rodgers, stepped back to throw. Who, who, slinging it around the field, man, slinging it. And they ended up crushing the Niners. And you know, we ain't the 40 Winer fan. Nah, we need any team that plays them the Sea Chickens, and the Cardinals to beat them. Because that division, NFC West is the best division in football. No doubt about it. No ifs, ands, buts, no arguments. We could easily get all four teams in the, in the playoffs if Jimmy G and the whole other squad wasn't hurt from the Niners. So... Let's go ahead and break down the rest of week nine. It's football Friday. You know what it is. So, first up, Denver at Atlanta. This is going to be a good game. But I think Drew Locke and the boys from Denver is going to take this one. I know Julio is the baddest wide receiver in the whole NFL. But I just don't know if they've kind of righted their ship yet. And the top father, he's been balling. He's got plenty of touchdowns, plenty of rushing yards. And he's looking like it was kind of a mistake for us to get rid of him, Ram Nation. But now we got Daryl Henderson, Cam Akers, them boys is playing. So I ain't, I ain't mad. But we're going to go with Denver over Atlanta. Seattle at Buffalo. Now, this one was a tough one because you know I want Buffalo to win. Because we gotta knock Seattle down. All the NFC West teams need to lose while we're on the bye week. But I just don't know if Josh Allen is the man to take down Russell Wilson. Unless the weather is either snowing or raining or windy, I might have to go with Buffalo. But for now, we're gonna stick with Seattle. Next up, Chicago at Tennessee. Chicago's offense is just not that great. I don't think they're going to be able to stop Derrick Henry. They're going to feed the man, and he just going to stiff arm, stiff arm. You don't want that man. You don't want to tackle that man going downhill. He a beast. So we're going to go with the Titans. Baltimore, Indy. I flip-flop on this one a couple times because I want to go with Indy. Baltimore is a little bit decimated. 
I don't know how well they're going to come off that loss from Pittsburgh, but they need this one. They need to be one of the top three teams in the AFC. And so I have a feeling Lamar Jackson going to make some magic happen, and they're going to pull out a victory. It's going to be a close one, probably less than a touchdown. That's what I'm going to guess. Kansas City at Carolina, this one is easy. Kansas City at home, Matt, Pat Mahomes, Tyreek, Travis Kelsey, all the weapons they got, they're going to get the dub. Detroit at Minnesota. I'm going to go Minnesota. They kind of found something last week with Dalvin Cook. Feed the man. Feed Dalvin Cook. The man ran wild last week. Ran his way to probably 15 mil plus a year contract. That's what he did last week. So I'm going to go ahead and take Minnesota at home as well against their rival Detroit. Matt Stafford, prove me wrong, man. Prove me wrong. New York Giants at Washington. The suck fest continues for the NFC East. Who wants to get to five wins to win the division? That's what it's going to take right now. And the Giants, Danny, Danny Dimes, he he runs 80 yards and then trips on nothing on a blade of grass. We're going to go with Washington. Kyle Allen. They have some weapons. Terry McLaurin. You know, Antonio Gibson in the backfield. They kind of found something a little bit. I have a feeling they found a little groove so far. And that's kind of my dark horse to win the NFC East. First one of five wins. He's going to win that division. So I'm going to go ahead and take Washington. Houston at Jacksonville. Jacksonville, you're still tanking no matter what you want to say, no matter what you want to do. Minshew mania, Gardner Minshew. That's the only player that anyone can even name off your roster anymore. So, of course, I'm not going to take them. I'm going to take J.J. Watt, Deshaun Watson, and the boys in Texas down in Houston. The Houston Texans are going to get the win over Jacksonville. Las Vegas Raiders at the L.A. Chargers. They play in the SoFi Stadium. Stadium is beautiful. Got that big ass screen going all the way around. But, you know, this ain't the home of the Chargers. It's Rams Nation, man. Rams Nation all day, every day. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Raiders because the Chargers have to lose at SoFi as much as possible. That's the Rams Stadium. Of course, of course, it's only fitting that we undefeated there so far. So, I'm going to give the Raiders the nod, especially going up against Justin Herbert. But that man has been playing amazing, amazing, amazing. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the, U or the Vegas Raiders over the Chargers. Next up, Pittsburgh and Dallas. This isn't even... It's not even a matchup. Zeke Elliott held out of practice a little bit or limited today. Pittsburgh is going to blow him out the water. 15 points plus. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Dallas is either starting Cooper Rush or Garrett Gilbert. Whoever you want to start. They're both going to get sacked by four plus times. Picked off twice. They're going to lose at home. Pittsburgh staying undefeated. Miami and Arizona. Now, this is my sleeper dark horse upset of the week. Miami just destroyed the Rams. Their defense is solid. They have two amazing corners that can shut down pretty much almost anyone. And so, they just going to put one of them on D-Hop and see what Kyler Murray can do. And can Tua, the left-handed quarterback, can he show us more than he did last week against the Rams? Because 92 yards, that's not going to win most games unless your defense is getting turnovers like they did last week. But I'm still going to go with them. I have a feeling two against Kyler is going to be Alabama against Oklahoma. The rematch in the NFL, though. And I'm going to go with Tua. Let's see. Because I got to have the NFC West groups. And that's what I'm only banking it on. I'm going with my heart over my head. That's how it goes sometimes. 
second to last game. Sunday night, New Orleans at Tampa Bay. Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Mike Evans, Mike Thomas, Chris Godwin, Leonard Fournette, Rojo, Alvin Kamara. This game is going to be amazing, man. Cam Jordan, Sunday nighter. It's going to be a good one. And I mean, not too sure how to look at this game, but Drew Brees has been held out of practice twice this week. So I have a feeling Tampa Bay at home with them cannons going off in Tampa. The pirate ship, Tom Brady, Antonio Brown, his first game. I have a feeling Tampa Bay is going to get this one. And it might be. 7 to 10 points. I don't think it's going to be necessarily close unless Drew Brees isn't as hurt as we think. But they're going to have to show me something. Tom Brady and the Bucks have been amazing this year. Amazing. They don't look like they're slowing down. So I'm going to go ahead and take Tom Brady, as much as I hate to say that, over Drew Brees. Man, he hasn't lost. Two games. He hasn't been swept by a division rival in literally 20 years. And I don't think that's going to happen this year either. So let's see how it plays out. Last but not least, another suck game. New England at the Jets. The Jets, we all know you're tanking for Trevor Lawrence. And it's obvious. So I think Cam Newton, Bill Belichick, get back on track. And they're going to win this one. Hey, I hope you guys liked it. It was the week eight. It was kind of like the breakdown from week eight since we didn't do a video last week. And then we did week nine. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was Football Friday. It's been Speak My Opinion on Topics High. I'm Smooth J. As always, like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, we out.